This was my favorite feature is, is going up the ramp. The gap between man and machine is getting smaller. This is the only one of its kind. At iWalk in Cambridge, Mike Welch is a tester for a new bionic lower leg system called the Power Foot Biome that simulates the actions of a biological foot using a complex series of sensors, motors, and springs, and actually compensates for changes in terrain using power that is stored and then released as needed. If they're in a car or airplane or something, they can't put their foot underneath the seat in front of them. So with the relaxed mode, the foot plantar flexes or extends, and now the foot is flat on the floor. It just feels like something you can't really believe. In 1979, Welch lost his leg in a motorcycle accident. By the end of the day, I feel we, uh, like I have more energy. In my lab at MIT, we build body parts. The man behind the science is MIT professor Dr. Hugh Hare. The reaction is is far greater than, than I had anticipated. In 2003, with conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, the government made millions of dollars available for projects that aid wounded soldiers. And after years of research, Dr. Hare started iWalk to move the biome into production. Uh, one individual takes hikes with his wife for the first time. Another fellow no longer uses the handicap placard. And Dr. Hare knows firsthand how well the foot works. After all, he uses them every day. And after months of effort, my doctors gave up the fight to save my biological limbs. At 17, while ice climbing on Mount Washington, he and a partner were caught in a blizzard. And after a severe case of frostbite, both of his lower legs had to be removed. And it set me on a lifetime mission to advance technologies that I can use and many people can use to improve quality of life. The product is a culmination of years in the lab and one of the most advanced prosthetics in the world. Me as a prosthetist and an amputee, this is sort of like the holy grail of feet. They even have an app for it. So the tuning application is makes use of a smartphone. So we basically are using an Android phone and we apply our own application to the device so that the prosthetist can tune the ankle. Dr. Hare firmly believes that by the end of the 21st century, technology will rid the world of disability altogether. If you take the technology away from me, I'm profoundly disabled. All I can do is crawl. But with the technology, I'm freed.